Hi, I'm Paula Thompson. And I'm Sarah Mercado. Welcome to Taking Stock. On our front cover this week, the debate on whether South Australian grain growers should be allowed to grow genetically modified crops rages on. Some croppers say the state's ban is hindering research and leaving them at a disadvantage to their interstate counterparts. But the government has confirmed its commitment to maintaining the ban and the opposition says they will do an assessment of the benefits of the moratorium if elected to Parliament. Extensive rainfall since May has pushed the SA grain forecast into above average territory, according to the latest PERSA crop and pasture report. It estimates the 2016 to 2017 SA harvest will produce 7.2 million tonnes. The report indicates that rainfall in May and June was average to above average in the state's cereal zone. Persa Grains account manager Dave Lewis said while the report looked at the good start to the season in May and rainfall up into the end of June, further rainfall in July pointed to an even greater tonnage. Merino breeders from across South Australia converged on Keith and Murray Bridge last week for the Corunda and Districts Field Day as well as the South East Merino Field Day. There were 23 studs on display at Keith and 17 at Murray Bridge. Visitors showed strong, genuine interest, boding well for upcoming ram sales. SA Livestock Producers want to wrestle back control of their industry funds after concerns about state government bureaucratic delays. Those selling sheep in SA pay 35 cents a head transaction levy into the SA Sheep Industry Fund and cattle producers pay $1.10, including the cost of their breeder tags to the SA Cattle Industry Fund. Both funds' finances have been run down as the program costs rise and the state government moves to full cost recovery for biosecurity. Livestock SA said there was wide support last year for a 20 cent increase in the sheep levy to 55 cents, but six months on, producers have heard nothing from Agricultural Minister Leon Bignall, who must approve any rise. That's it for this week. See you next time.